Hey, I'm Helix. And I'm Dougie. And this is an Intelligence AI Special Report. Intelligence AI Special Report. Intelligence. And Helix, I got to say, you're looking a little casual for an intelligent. What's going on, buddy? Well, remember, I am in Bali, and this is uh, what we reference as a Bali tuxedo. All right, well, fair enough, but we are here regardless of how we're dressed as a special report. Some big things happened this week. OpenAI announced the ChatGPT app store effectively. There's this, a potential for people now to get paid to create these things called custom GPTs. A lot of people don't even know what they're about. They're kind of like apps built on top of ChatGPT. What's going on, buddy? I want to put this into context, Dougie. So Apple launched its app store in 2008 with 500 apps now boasts about 2 million apps. The App Store generates 85 billion, which accounts for about 20% of the company's revenue. In the two months since OpenAI announced their GPTs, its users have already created over 3 million custom versions of ChatGPT. We don't know exactly how it's all gonna work, but basically OpenAI will start featuring GPTs on its website, and the ones that generate the most views will start to earn income and revenue. So essentially, there's an opportunity here for you to jump in, create your GPT, and potentially start creating revenue from it. That's super huge. And so from what I understand right now, it's not like you're paying a dollar or two for the app. There's going to be, it's going to be based on a usage. That's right. Yeah. So again, it's all a little murky. We're at the beginning here, but you know, early adopters uh, get the worm. And so <laughs> what we want to do today is walk people through how you can create your own GPT, how you can get it up on the store, super simple process, and potentially start earning income from it. That sounds great. And I know we've already in these last couple of months each built a few. So maybe we could just show a couple that we've built and then show how to create a, a little simple one. Does that sound like a fun plan to you? Sounds like a really fun plan. Why don't you jump in, Doug? All right. So here we are in ChatGPT. And as you can tell, it's ChatGPT four is up here. That means I've got the plus version. And so it's $20 a month. You need to pay the, for the plus version to both get access to these custom GPTs as well as create them. And on my left-hand side, here you'll see all these kind of custom GPTs that I've created. But really, the one that I thought I would just share with you today is my Optimism bot. This was the first one. This was a reaction to people being afraid of technology and AI in particular. You can talk to it about something you might be upset about, and it can give you feedback. So I can say, uh, I am upset at my friend, my best buddy, Helix. For waking up late. For waking up late and not being well dressed for our fancy report. I earned um, okay. that. I, uh, <laughs> okay, so it's been programmed to help acknowledge the problem as well as give me some ideas for how I could feel better. It's understandable to feel upset when expectations aren't met. Maybe your buddy Helix had a reason for waking up late and not dressing appropriately. Have you had a chance to talk to him about how you felt, et cetera, et cetera. And then it can actually lead into what do you think would be the best approach to address the situation with Helix? But I want to point out, especially in important situations like a fancy report. <laughs> right. So those are a couple that I wanted to share. I will pass the baton off to you, Helix. Awesome, buddy. Thanks. So I'm going to take us right into the GPT store here. These are the various GPTs that I've been creating. This is one that I made for people living here in Bali called the Bali Boule Guide. A Boule is a foreigner. And here you can, you can ask all kinds of things like, what's a unique Balinese tradition? Ah, you're in for a treat. One unique Balinese tradition is Nyepi, also known as the Day of Silence. It's like the whole island hits the pause button for a day. Nepi marks the Balinese New Year, and it's celebrated in a way that's probably unlike anything you've seen before. You can even have it do lessons, Balinese or Indonesian lessons. So how do you say hello in Balinese? Ah, the magic words in Bali. To say hello, you'd say Om Swasiastu. So that gives you an idea of how convenient and cool and helpful these things are. Okay, Dougie, so let's cut to the chase here. We really want to empower people here to start creating their own GPTs, get them up on the store, and potentially get paid. So why don't you kick us off and, and let's build one. All right, this sounds fun. I don't even know what we're going to build, but I think you probably have some ideas. Let's do it. All right, and so we're going to open up our chat again. And what we're going to find is uh, over here under Explore GPTs, just like Helix showed. This, by the way, I don't think we mentioned, but this is a um, all the places that you can explore custom GPTs that people have created that professional organizations like Canva have created. 
that uh, OpenAI has created. So there's a whole lot to explore. This has so many to, to check out. There's a, just a giant amount, like Helix said, over 3 million in two months. Okay, so here it is. Here are all my different uh, ones, but we're gonna create a new GPT. So literally we're gonna be able to program this GPT with just our typing, just our text. So Helix, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, hey, get, let's get people paid on the GPT store. So let's make a GPT that teaches you how to create other GPTs. All right, that's exciting. I wanna create a GPT that helps people build their own GPTs that can make them money on the new chat GPT app store. What do you think, Helix? I think it's great, let's get it. Okay, it's gonna now infer what we want it to do and flesh out that prompt into something more actionable for itself. And that's why this is so exciting. It literally is gonna help itself get better. It's even gonna give itself a name. App Genius. That sounds great. Check out what it's going to do next. It's even going to build the little profile picture right here. All right. So on the right hand side, we'll see a preview of what it's going to look like. And we haven't done any customization other than just the basics here. And it already gave us some conversation starters. So I can say right from there, can you suggest a unique app idea? All right. So kind of related to your Bali Bully buddy, That's weird. Uh, was cultural exchange buddy, this app would do all these things, utilize GPT's language and cultural understanding capabilities, almost like it was listening to us. You could also say something like, I don't know, I want to create a GPT for new single dads. Hey, Dougie, is, is, there something, is there something you're trying to tell me? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, geez, maybe GPT yeah. knows better than I do, but uh, no, this is well, just that came the out of you. About... <laughs> True. Well, here's the thing. So we asked it completely for a vanilla thing. It just gave us a great idea. Now we've asked it for something a little bit more specific. Target audience, its core features. How great is this? Monetization strategies. You can go back into the create side of the of the GPT and configure this and add right. more and more information to make this more and more specific. Essentially, what you're doing is programming this thing using natural language. In other words, if you think about the App Store, the Apple's App Store, with its 500 apps at the beginning in 2008, every one of those had to be coded uh, and created by an engineer. You get to be an engineer here. It's all natural language training, no code required. So anyone can right. do this. So it fleshed out some instructions here. Now let's just talk briefly about these. These are the conversation starters. Those were the little boxes down here. A couple of other things before we move on. The knowledge is where you start to be able to upload files, spreadsheets, uh, PDFs, anything that you want to add on top of ChatGPT's already massive knowledge base. And then it will search those things directly and reference the data. And you can constantly add to this. You can constantly come back and edit it and yeah, update it. Exactly. So a couple of other things that's nice to know, web browsing uh, is enabled. Dolly image generation. So you can create images right in here. Code interpreter is a little bit more like it's running for code. It's more for developers, as is this next panel, the actions. This is where it starts to get a little more complicated, but where the extensions, the abilities grow massively. This is where you can connect it to all other sorts of apps. So literally Canva right now has connected its own API that you can build a first, or you can begin to brainstorm your graphics right in chat, and then you can click on them and it will open it up in Canva. So that's an example of a very advanced one. So great. We've created our GPT, the Intelligence App Genius. Dougie, what's next? How do we get this up into the store? To get it live on the App Store, you go over to the Save button. There's three options, only me, anyone with a link, and everyone. And so obviously this is the one you use. And what you're gonna need to do is click on this and you can either just choose your name or if you want it to show your website, you gotta go through another couple of little steps. And then all you do is choose a category. In this case, we're gonna choose productivity and confirm and lo and behold, it is now available and people will soon be able to find this by searching and it'll be on the GPT store. And the beauty of, of putting in a website, right, is that it will link back to your website. So people are going to see this and they can come and see what else you do. So it's a great way to, to do some marketing for yourself. Exactly. You know, you're kind of giving these things away yeah. uh, and giving this information away, but ensuring that people learn more about That's you. Right. So really the opportunities here are incredible. Uh, we, again, don't know where all this is going to go. We don't know how it's all going to roll out. But using that Apple App Store model, you know, this could go really big. And the potential for people to really be generating revenue and income here 
is really amazing. Totally. It's really exciting to see where this goes. And there's already some apps that are making so much potential money. I don't know if they've actually started. I don't think they've started paying people out yet, but some of these apps- Not yet. They're Not getting yet. tens of thousands and plus so many views. They're going to start to make some good money from it. And I think probably at some point there, sh there will maybe even be a paid model or a paid level that you can pay a couple of dollars possibly. Well, we'll see, right? It's all, it's all coming, but this is exciting news. We wanted to make sure you understood how to do this and you could be a part of the, the beginning of all of this. So welcome to the GPT store. Thanks for tuning in to this intelligence AI special report. Hope you learned a bunch, hope you laughed a little, and we will see you on the next go round. Thanks everybody. Intelligence AI special report. Intelligence AI special report. All right, it's shameless plug time. And if this excites you as much as it apparently excites me and Helix, then you'll love this course that I'm offering. It's called Build an AI Assistant for Your Business. And it's gonna actually show you not just how to build a bot for your business, but how to do all these custom GPTs that you might wanna do. We get a lot more into instructions as well as attached files. So if you're into that, head over to projectfresh.com brandbot and you'll learn a lot more about it.